Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to show you our budget project Integra build. Here's a front end that we ordered. These headlights are the authentic HIDs. There it says 25,000 volts that can kill you. Fender looks pretty good. Bumper looks good. Radiator support with the VIN badge. There's a battery service sticker that was serviced in Japan. Um, I did some work on this radiator support already, but I wanted to put in this video to show you, show you guys what we're up to. It's Fender. It's got a little ding, but it's gonna have to. We're gonna have to fix that. There's the donor. So let's go to our first motor that we collected a while back. This is an actual 2002 or 2003 RSX Type S. It's the 2.0. IV tech I don't know if you could see that but it says K20 A2 There's a 6 speed transmission There's a harness that came off of it. We ended up ripping out the old tape and redoing it with good electrical tape. There's the shifter box from the RSX with the shifter cable. So with this Integra, we thought we'd probably put a bigger engine in it. So we went with the K24. Here's a six-speed manual transmission that we got. It's off a 2013 Honda Civic SI. It's a six-speed. It's the LSD. I probably should, sh should show you guys in this video, but I forgot. Here's a shifter cable that we picked up from a junkyard. Uh, this one came off a Honda Accord 2003. As you can see, the bracket doesn't fit this case, so um, we're going to have to find a bracket that works for this. All right, now, guys, we're going to move on. So here we're gonna I'm gonna show you a half shaft that we will need for this swap. It came off of an RSX Type S. Um, it's got to be a manual, of course. Axles from an EP3 Civic SI given to us by Chris. Shout out to Chris. Thanks. Here's another wiring harness that was given to us by Chris. Um, it was chopped up, but we were able to repair it, make it look nice again. Um, shout out to Chris. Thanks. So here is a starter from a 2003 Honda Accord. Also, we grab the charge harness. So this is a K24 motor that we pulled from the junkyard. Um, Tom and I pulled that from a yard. So shout out to Tom. Thanks for making that happen. Here is an alternator that also came out of 2003 Honda Accord. 
this flywheel was taken off a 2003 Honda Accord, um, took it to advance to get it resurfaced. Um, here is a intake manifold. Um, actually, half of it was off a 2003 Honda Accord. The TSX had a drive-by wire throttle body, so we found an Accord that had the cable cable throttle body. Here is a RVC intake manifold um, given to us by Chris. Shout out to Chris. Thanks again. I probably shouldn't be dragging that stuff on the concrete. I don't know if you could see that. Um, says K24A2. This was an automatic. How to pick up a Honda battery, Honda antifreeze, power steering, fluid, oil filters, and crush rings for the oil plug. We had to get some aftermarket mounts to make the engine work. Um, these are the aftermarket parts that we have so far. There may be some things I may be forgetting, but I would do my best to document everything that's needed for this swap. Here's a fuel pressure regulator. fuel rail fuel pressure lines with the I think they're called AN fitting lines here is the clutch pressure line wiring harness conversion from the engine harness to the cabin and I believe the O2 plugs are on the, on this harness also. Here is a Honda ECU. I believe it's the version 4 given to us by Tom. Shout out to Tom. Thank you. And headers to make this swap work. Um, I know there are videos out there that show how to do how to do these swaps but I want to do my best to document this and take you guys along with our project Integra build adventure so thank you for watching guys I hope you like this video